Good evening, maayong gabi ka ninyong tanan. Uh, niya ta sa atong regular show of the Cebu Lady Lawyers Association, ang Partners in Law. Ako di ay si Attorney Cassandra Tevez, your host for tonight. And of course, for tonight's episode, we will be discussing the processes in the Registry of Deeds of Cebu Province and of Cebu City. Very interesting. And of course, joining us today is our very special guest, whom I know who is experienced in the inner workings of the Registry Registry of Deeds of Cebu Province and of City because she is currently the Deputy Registrar of Cebu Province and the Acting Deputy Registrar of Cebu City. So who better can tell us the inner workings of the Registry of Deeds but her. Let us all welcome dear televiewers, my dear friend, Attorney Hazel Dapitan Espina. Thank you, Kan. Ugmayong gabi itanan sa atong tanang televiewers. Ako na Lipay. Thank you for having me back here in our Partners in Law. I am a Salian myself, so kaninga organization is close to my heart. So I'm happy to be back and to discuss these things sa atong mga televiewers. We are also very happy and we are very lucky having you with us today despite your busy schedule, Attorney Hazel. So before anything else, how are you? How is um, the life of a deputy registrar of Cebu City and Province? Kuan, busy good kaayo because as you have said, I'm handling two offices. Mm -hmm. I'm the deputy sa Cebu Province at the same time ako sa dang deputy acting sa Cebu City. Okay. So my schedule is morning Cebu City unya iniga hapon Cebu Province. So, okay. ang nindot lang is, the office are located beside each other. Actually, the same building lang. So, malakaw-lakaw ra. Okay. Doon lang. A few steps away. So, busy. Daghan ka yung transactions daghan because uh, uh, practically all of Cebu City is appeal sa amo ang office. Except lang Toledo and Danao, Mandawe, okay. and Bugu. Because they have their own registrar, uh, registry of deeds. Except the four. The four. The four. So, uh, but the rest is under Cebu your province. jurisdiction. Yes, and Cebu City. Okay. So, daghan ka ay yung transactions na pending. Okay, oh. wow. Very hectic ang schedule ni Attorney <laughs> Hazel. So, I've been meaning to ask, and I think our televiewers are also very curious, what is really the role of a deputy registrar of deeds? Okay. Um... Basically, we look into the documents submitted. For example, mm -hmm. na ay iparehistro nga sale. Among tanawon, nga kanding nga dokumento, it complies with all the legal requirements mm -hmm. under the law. Okay. So, tanawon na mo nga ang nagbaligya ba, ni sign ba sa deed of sale. Mm -hmm. So, practically, kung good, kanang just to make sure that the transfer, for example, of a property is in accordance with law. Okay. Kaya, for example, na iusa katag iya nga wala ni firma sa deed of sale, we will not allow registration. Mm -hmm. Kaya, dili man na pwede. Okay. So we, we look so into the documents. So it has to be that all the owners of the property must sign. Yes, okay. the, the deed of conveyance when it's, for example, the deed of sale. Mm -mm. So um, practically, tanawon lang gid namo nga kompleto ang imo hang gisubmit na dokumento. Like dili lang ang deed of sale, like mm -mm. ang pagbayad sa tax, because mm -mm. our office is not supposed to transfer ownership mm -mm. without payment of the taxes. Mm, okay. so, so, maguna ang taxes attorney and then go straight to re the registry of Yes. O, oh, usag yes. gina sa requirement. Mm -hmm. And then, ang nakanindot ka ron, kay ang ato ang office sa registry of deeds, we are linked with the BIR already. Mm, so, okay. ang BIR, mo issue ka nang gitawag nila og certificate authorizing registration, commonly known as the CAR, mm -hmm. before we register. Okay. And kani nga CAR, ang dokument sa CAR, na na siya barcode, uh, mo ang iskan, Mm -hmm. If it's not existent, kung wala siya sa BIR, dilit na siya musud sa mga opisina. Mm -hmm. So, atong malikayan ng mga binubinuang sa una, mm -hmm. bitaw nga dilit, tinuod ang car. Mm -hmm. Kay link naman ta, we have a barcode. Okay. O, so, so that was na, not here before, right? The, actually, nag-start. The barcode? Kano yes. Na siya nag-start nag -start lang na siya mga, mga mid of 2017. Mm -hmm. Oh, which is a really good thing. At yes. least monitored na karon ang car. Dali right? na sa do oh, ma mahibawan kung tinuod ba gid kung kani nga car gid kan gid sa BIR. So once you scan it, it automatically appears on the system yes. of the registry of Yes. Oh. Okay, that's very very nice. So high tech na data karon attorney. High tech. Oh, high tech kayo. <laughs> ang register of deeds actually mga about 95% computerized na mi. Computerized sa entire Philippines. Mo. Na lang okay. tay mga gagmay na mga 
few artists lang, mm-hmm. for example, Batanes, I think Sulu, nga wala pa sila na computerized. So, manual gaya po, typewriter. Ah, okay, talking Oo. about computerized, so, all the, have you finished already uh, encoding all the certificate of titles in, oh, the, okay. in the system? Yes, so. that's a very valid concern or yes. question. Uh-oh. Kaya di ba, gikan ko ta sa manual, then, nag, el- nag electronic ta. Mm-mm. So, during the uh, computerization, ang gibuhat sa Registry of Deeds, ang tanang mga manual nga title, atong giskan. Okay. And then we put it in the database. Mm-hmm. So it forms part now of the database. Na na siya. And then some of the entries are encoded. In some registries of deeds, like Cebu City, mga about 98% is already in the system. Wow. Pero na ay mga registries of deeds nga wala pagintanan. But we have a remedy. For example, mo ato ka sa RD no. Mga yung pag-certified copy. Mm-hmm. And then, pag-request niya mag-certified copy mo yun, ang clerk, ma'am, wala sa system. Mm-hmm. But don't you worry because naatay pa maagi, ana. Kay basin, ang rason nga wala pa ang imuhang title sa system is wala siya na scan. Okay. So, you request a certified copy and then based on your request mo request mi sa mo central office nga katong ang title ni mo is kana mo ibutang mm-hmm. na to sa database mm-hmm. so when you request attorney hazel of a certified true copy uh, how many days does it take to for it to be released yes ang ato ang arta kana atong gitawag og anti Red Tape Act. Okay. So, okay. Mandates us to act on request of certified copies not later than three days. Three days. Three days. Pero nasa tayo mga kaabiyat. Ano kay usahay ka na bitong mahutdan mig forms. Usa sa mm-hmm. naka concern kay ngatong forms dili man basta basta lang uh, ban paper. Mm-hmm. Kana mo request ka og certified. So, so what will happens if if I will go to the registry of deeds and I will ask for a certified true copy? So what do I do first? I, I sign a form. Yeah, we have a form mm. okay. and then you fill it up and okay. then you just put the title number and then the registered owner's name. Mm. So okay. based on the system, you can do it if you And then, uh, but we give priority to senior citizens. Mm-mm. Like, you request, ka, you can wait for your certified ah, copy. Okay. Oh. That's what I'm saying. Because the people who are senior, you request them to get more than 10 nga mga kaning certified copies. Uh-oh. Pero in fact, dili di ay ilahang property. Mm-hmm. So if we recall that law, granting the privilege to these senior citizens, imuha mo ng personal. Yes, Baka so, in fact, uh-oh. gani mo ato ta sa Jollibee, for example, yes. ubani mo yung mong lola, dili mangay sila muhatag o discount kung wala ang yes. senior. So, so we are requesting for the senior citizens na transacting with our office that if you want to avail of this privilege, mm-hmm. you make sure nga it's your personal mm-hmm. transaction, your personal property. Kay, would you believe, usahay na ay mga senior sa opisina mag-away? Mm-hmm. Kaya nga no, kung nung una ang senior nga usa. <laughs> so, so muna ang mga higala ha. So ato na ni klaro na ang request ni Attorney Hazel is for uh, senior citizens to claim certification nga para lang sa ilahang kaupalingon. Yes, sapat personal. No? Uh, actually, this is just to avoid conflict in the office. Yeah. Actually, can, we can we can cater if they want bitaw, pero ang among mga good is tagkan ka ayo ang request for mm-hmm. the day. Mm-hmm. And sometimes, we cannot give in to your request that you will just wait for the certified copy. Okay. So that's why we give priority to senior citizens na ilang personal ang transaction, not, mm. for example, if you are a liaison officer of a finance corporation, mm, kanang yes. utang, and then senior ka, mm-hmm. so we will not give the same privilege ay mo, ha? Kaya dili man na personal ni mga transaction sa opisina man na, but, if ginagmay lang, we still heed to their request. Okay. It's a case-to-case basis, pero we just request, nagi, kaya subject to abuse mm-hmm. na ba? No. Pero we are so accommodating, basta kaya lang. Okay. So, speaking about corporation, so, what if this time around ang claim o or more request for a certification is a corporation. So how do they go about it? Yeah, we, we are not so strict with with the request for certified copies Mm-mm. because ang mga titles ko ano magunisha it forms part of the public record. Anyone okay. can access. Mm-mm. So in the form, you would just have to write your imong pangan kinsa ni request. Ah, Anak lang, okay. and then anyone can actually secure. Okay, but we, yeah, pirmangayuk mi 
og ID, mm. uh, uh, Xerox copy, attach. Okay. Later on, if there will be issues, at least makibaw me kung kinsa itong nangayo o certified copy. Mm -hmm. And one of the services nga nada sa itong pag-computerize sa itong opisina, mm -hmm. kintahay mo request ka o certified copy, pero imong property to us, sa, for example, sa Quezon City. Oh. Dili na kakinahanglan mo ito sa Quezon City to secure a certified copy. Wow. Oh, wow. Pwede na mo siya makuha in any RD in the Philippines any na computerized. Okay. Yeah, like for example, there is a Cebu, niya, imong property na sa Quezon City, you can mm. request. So, hassle-free na doon hassle siya. Hassle-free oh, uh, sa pag-request. Because computerized na. Yes, no? that's okay. one of the advantages sa itong pag-computerized. Mm. Ang kuan lang is na ay marag, mas higher ang price. Mm -mm. Pero compared na mo pliti pa kag-aroplano, mm -mm. kayo mo ato ka sa Quezon City and then a matter lang yes, of 200 plus na yes, siya, no, for the, kayo. the claimant or yes, the owner of the, the property. Or anyone who wants to buy a property and you want to exercise due diligence, mm -hmm. gusto ka mo tanaw kung limpyo ba ning titulo, then you secure a certified copy, di nakakinanglan mo ato sa lugar kung asa located ang property. That's ah, the advantage. That's... One of the advantages of our computerization. Very nice. No, no? So, nindot, nindot. I'm very happy to hear that. No? <laughs> At least karon dili na kayo hassle mo claim o, or mo request o certification. Oh, no? oh. Going back, uh, Attorney Hazel, you mentioned nga mo palito property. No, I mean, uh, as a rule, or for the sake of our televiewers, kinsa man dyan pwede maka-own dire o property sa Pilipinas? Oh, kani siya, kanang usasad na sa mga issues po sa office. Mm -hmm. Kaya ba we are so aware karon nga daghan natag mga young, beautiful Filipinas yes. who are married <laughs> like, to foreigners. Like, like you? Like <laughs> us. <laughs> Pagbigyan okay. na lang. So, we have situations like that, no? So, ang... ang Atong konstitusyon, di wala gatugot sa usa ka foreigner nga maka-own og yuta sa Pilipinas. Okay. Okay. Pero natay mga exception ana like katong foreigner nga naminyo og Filipino, for example, Filipina. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then namatay, for example, ang Filipina, pwede siya maka-inherit. Pwede siya. Pwede okay. siya. So we call it That's one of the exceptions. Exceptions, hereditary yes. succession. Mm -hmm. So kung namatay imong Filipina wife foreigner ka, pwede ka maka-inherit sa yuta nga inyahang napalit. Mm. Oo, so mo na How about uh, kanang gitawag nila nga dual citizens yes. na Filipino? They can oh, also they can own also. properties. Yes, uh -huh. naamantay mga law like BP 185 mm -hmm. na nag-allow og mga former Filipino citizens nga maka-acquire okay. og ganing yuta sa yuta Pilipinas. Pero Pilipinas. na ay limitasyon as to area. Mm -hmm. Oo, so kanang na, pero maka-own gihapon. Maka gihapon. Oh. Okay. So mo na karon ang mga ang mga foreigners di ay kan, pwede ra sila mo-own og condominium units. Mm -hmm. Oh, so so, kay wala may yuta. Is there a limitation to that, attorney? Ah, uh, wala, wala. Oo, oh, oh, okay, okay. wala tay limitation as At least to... no for condominiums, di ba? Yes. So pwede ra sila maka-own. Oh. No, Actually lang limit. ang usa lang ka limitation anak kan kay dapat dili mo lampas og 40% ang foreign interest sa usa ko ka condominium okay, corp. Okay. So, ilalang nang ikuan certify sa kaning condo corp nga mm -hmm. ang kaning pagpalit ani nga foreigner dili na mo lampas atong 60% ano 40% maximum ownership sa, sa foreigner sa, sa condominium. Sa condominium. Oh. And all they need to do is to get lang a certification, certification from nga, the company. Yes, nga okay. kaning nga sale it would not violate such provision. Mm -hmm. So, so very nice, very informative. No? Yes, oh, mo so na ka ayong foreigner nga interesado sa mo palit. Because I noticed mo... daghan na pud kaay foreigners na mo palit o condominium yes, dili sa Pilipinas. Oh, oh. No? Actually sila ganahan din sila og yuta labi mm -hmm. na ng mga beachfront. Mm -hmm. Pero tungod lagi sa wala gitugot sa ato ang constitution ang uban buhaton mm -hmm. as ang ang Pilipina ang papaliton. Mm -hmm. That is valid because the Filipina is uh, Allowed by allowed, law. Allowed by to, law. To own. Oo, mm -hmm. to own land. So, maon na lang na ibuhat to. Maon na lang na way of oh, uh, getting oh. and owning a property. Oh, oh. So, uh, going back, Attorney Hazel, um, balik ta sa sugod, how do you exactly have a, a, a land titled? or a parcel of land title. Oh, Unsa man jud na? How, how what is the process? Oh, kani siya siya kan. Wag sad ka ini kana bang usa sa mga importante kaayo na concerns. Kani mm -hmm. bitaw mga yuta nga gi-cover lang og tax declaration. Okay, kana. So, oh, oh. kan mangutana unsa on man namo pagpatitulo kay di ba kung walay titulo dili magud ingon nga concrete ang imuhang ownership or absolute mm -hmm. ba? so the best evidence nga you own the plan is ang imong titulo, titulo. Yeah, it's not that easy mm -hmm. we have two ways nga mapatituluhan imong yuta okay. you go to court 
you hire a lawyer para mo file sa imong petition which is kani mas mas gasto mas dugay mm -hmm. kay implied ba nimo ang solicitor general as yes, one so of the <coughs> and, uh, party parties to your petition case. yes mm -hmm. so um ato ka sa korte ang akong hibawan it would take mga 3 to 10 years depende kung oppose ang soldier so mm -hmm. do guy ang proseso if you, that's if you go to court to go to court we oh, call it judicial titling oh, oh. so do guy siya pero kanang naana sad tay mga 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 daghang mga yuta nga natituluhan through judicial proceedings ah, okay. ang another way is you go to administrative mm -hmm. unsa nang administrative you go to DNR, uh -huh. and DNR mo hatag ug patent. Mm -hmm. oh, so, ang patent, nga na mga qualifications, depende on sa nga patent ang imuhang applyan. Mm -hmm. You go to DNR, DNR na mo determine if qualified ba ka. So, DNR. Okay. DNR. Um, anyway, uh, unfortunately, Attorney Hazel, um, in as much as we'd like to continue, of course, we'll be right back for a quick break. Welcome back to Partners in Law and once again we have here Attorney Hazel Dapitan Espina, your Deputy Registrar of Cebu Province and Acting Deputy Registrar of Cebu City. So a while ago we were talking about how to uh, administratively have the land be titled. No, So mm. um, again Attorney Hazel, um, how do we go about it? Oh, sa ako nang giingon kan, pwede tamo ato sa DNR and we apply for a patent. Ang akong pagkibaw, ang thrust karon sa government Mm -hmm. ipanghatag na gud ang yuta sa mga tao mm -hmm. nga qualified mm -hmm. kay this is how this is the best way nga marag ma empower sila economically ba mm -hmm. like di ba you can use your land imong you mortgage you start a business so yes, oh, ang thrust sa government ipang distribute na mm -hmm. the other way for having a land titled through administrative proceedings is mo adto ka sa dar okay kay di ba kana atay mga of agrarian, of agrarian reform, reform. katong mga qualified farmer beneficiaries mm -hmm. so naasad na continue pa na arunog aggressive ka ayo nga Dar also for the distribution of cloa to mm -hmm. qualified farmer beneficiaries. Pero ang nindut karon. I am also a member of the committee sa provincial government. Okay. Na asilay public land titling committee. They would help certain LGUs kanang ipatituluhan ng mga yuta. They would help in the processing, in the survey. Wow. So you just have to get in touch with your local government. Mm -hmm. Sila ang mutabang nato dito sa DNR pagpatitulo, pagpasurvey. Mm -hmm. So once mo okay na sa DNR, kaya may ingunan DNR, oh, qualified ka, mm -hmm. pwede nin mahatag sa gobyerno ang yuta diri sa imuha, mo issue na sila ang patent. Okay. okay. Ang patent, that on sa registry of deeds para i-rehistro. And then mm -hmm. that's the time nga amo na ding butangan ng title number. Okay. Mas dali ang administrative. So those, those are the two ways. We have yes. number one, judicially, if you go to court, and number two, administrative uh, administrative title. Yes, yes. Oh. you go to the NR DAR. Mm -hmm. But I'm very, very pleased to know that there is a committee who will help those people yes. na oh. magpatitulo. Right? Yes, we have oh. that in the capital. Uh, uh, kanin sa ato ang kapitulyo. Mm -hmm. I think that's one of the programs of our governor, Hilario Davide. In na, partnership, of course, with their with registry the, of trees and the DNR. Ah, okay. Oo, so, nice. na sila. Oh. Nindot ka yung programa. Ka Actually, we have already distributed titles mm -mm. Um, base an ang programa mm -mm. sa Uslob, nakaadtumi mm -mm. sa Ultru, sa Tuburan. Daghang okay. mga dapit sa Remejo. Mm -mm. Kay, naan naman tayong mga titles nga naa sa RD. Amo na nang kami mismo, through mm -mm. that public land titling committee of the provincial government, mm -mm. We, mo adtumigid sa lugar para okay. mo hatag sa titulo. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we will have after the election, naghan ming adtuan na kaschedule nga lugar okay. para mo distribute. We cooperate with that uh, committee, committee sa ato so, ang provincial government. If I may ask for the attorney Hazel, kaning pagpatitulo unsa man po kadugay mo gawas? Ma release ang titulo if oh. ever magsugod sila from day one up to the time na ma release siya mga approximate lang siguro attorney yes kung judicial medyo dugay dugay mm -mm. sa ako nang giingon ang akong hibawan mga 3 to 10 years depende mm -hmm. sa kung judicial judicial o oh. oh, oh. administrative administrative ang akong pagkibaw na mga gani mo gawas in a year's time mm -hmm. or even less depende okay. sa kapaspason sa kanibitang pagcomply pud sa requirements mm -hmm. kay survey pa man na but Pero, then again daghan kay yeah, transactions attorney oo oh, oh, daghan kaayo actually <laughs> Ko kay kanang fresh pa kay katanaon gyahan 
pun marami pa rin pareho na ganito mga transactions in a day <laughs> so so kani siya attorney hail so once nga naanay titulo so it's already registered under somebody's name so what if ganahan siya i transfer unsa may mga requirements mm. or uh, step by step process if ganahan siya i transfer yang title okay again what do you call again kung naana jud ang titulo that's a certificate of certificate of title. title if it's the pinakauna nga titulo nga na issue okay. we call it original certificate of title or the OCT OCT so kung pananitan sa imo nang giingon gusto niya i-transfer mm-hmm. ang kasunod ana nga ma-issue namo we call it transfer certificate of title or TCT TCT o, kung okay. condominium CCT condominium certificate of title okay. so sa imong question kan nga kung panalang gusto niya i-transfer na siya oh, so, so depende sa depende oh. sa unsaon pag-transfer okay. unsay mood for example ibaligya Mm-hmm. Okay. Ang importante atong timan-an nga ang Register of Deeds mo required yun nga tanang dokumento nga inyong isubmit notarized. Mm-hmm. Like the deed of sale, it should be notarized. Mm-hmm. Kaya dilit man tamo dawat o dilit notaryado. Mm-hmm. So aside sa original nga kaning deed of sale, for example, kinangan na ito isubmit ang atong owners to pick it copy of title. Okay. Kaya atong ba ng kansilahon, atong pulihan o bago? So, okay. kinanglang good is surrender. And surrender course, ang OCT. OC, ang mm-hmm. OCT, ang owner's copy. Mm-hmm. And of course, the deed of sale. The deed of sale. That, that's just one of uh, one of the ways of transferring. Yes. No? Uh, a while ago, you uh, when we were at the backstage, <laughs> you mentioned about voluntary transactions or involuntary transactions. Yes. Sa maning voluntary transactions, appeal na ang sale, Anna. Appeal ang sale. Okay. So, basically, kung may nguntag voluntary, ka nang imuhang kabubuton, mm-hmm. na imuhang i- ibalhin ni mong yun ta sama sa pagbaligya okay. sa pa, sama sa pagdonate mm-hmm. or even kanibitang atong mga ginikanan nga namatay na nya gusto nato ibalhin sa atong pangalan that mm-hmm. is also a voluntary transaction so importante sa tanang voluntary transaction na agid ang imong owner's copy okay that's or that's else, one owner's yes, copy yes importante ka ina kan kay kung wala na dili man mo entertain sa imong transaction okay mm. so ang involuntary mm-hmm. mo ni siya kanang what dili ni mo kagustuhan ba mm-hmm. like example na any file og kaso nga sa imuha og sa kaning pertaining to the ownership for example ni question nga mm-hmm. mingon siya dili ikaw ang tagya kay ako so ni file siya kaso sa korte ang katong ni file pwede magpa-annotate sa imong titulo ganang gitawag natog notice of respondents mm-hmm. pagpahibaw sa tanan nga kaning yutaan na involved kani sa usa ka kaso nga pending sa korte mm-hmm. so Mo that notice of respondents that is involuntary okay. transaction okay. Mm-hmm. so going back pud sa voluntary no before kumu pa dayon sa notice of respondents attorney kanang sale unsa may required ana Oh, what okay. if this time around wala siya OCT? Yeah, tax declaration lang iyang na. Oh, okay, that is so, also a good question. Na, That's oh. a good question because the property is not yet covered by a title. Wala pa title tax dek lang pwede mm-hmm. ba natong ibaligya? Pwede. pwede. Mm-hmm. Unya, kinahanglan sad nato iparehistro ang ato ang deed of sale dito sa RD. So unsa may requirements ang ang deed of sale nga notaryado? ang car katunggikan sa BIR kay mo bayad gyapon tag car mm-hmm. for the kaning capital gains tax before ka mo before mo sa RDO and then you have to pay transfer tax mm-hmm. in the local government sa munisipyo kung asa pa nang litan located ang property mm-hmm. and then you have to secure a certified copy of the tax declaration and also uh, tax clearance that you have paid the amilyar. Kanang kitawag na itong amilyar, the realty tax clearance. So, mm-hmm. dapat isubmit na sa RD. Kaning mga taxes, Attorney Hazel, kanus aman ni dapat bayran from the time nga ni-execute ang parties of deed of oh, sale? Eh, kana, kana, that is no? also a good question. Oh. Kay mag-penalty sa BIR. Yes, oh, oh. Uh, I, I don't know if I remember correctly, but ang akong mahibawan, marag dapat 30, within 30 days from the time na-execute ni mo ang deed of sale, mo bayad ka or else mm-hmm. you were incurred. 30 days. 30 days oh. ako I'm no, no, I'm not sure on that uh, period, pero 30 days ang akong ma-recall nga kinala mo bayad na ka para dili ka magka-penalty sa BIR. From that time nga imong ga-execute ang deed of sale, from okay. the time nga nanotaryuhan, or else ah, okay. magka-penalty ka sa BIR. So mauna mm. mga televiewers, no? So very good information para dili ta ma-penaltihan. Kinahanglan ba yun na ito taxes from, through within 30 days from the time na nanotaryuhan atong deed of sale. So take note of that. Yes. No? So how about donation, Attorney Hazel? Kana, donation. Unsang may yes. pamaagi po, Anna? Um, 
basically marag pareho ra siya sa deed of sale kinahanglan mm -hmm. notariado pero ang ang nakalahi sa deed of donation kan kinahanglan ang gidunitan mm -hmm. ang nidawat sa donasyon mo pirma gid siya og acceptance sa dokumento okay. or pwede siya i-accept ni ang donation in a separate document pero ato na siyang i-mention nga naay donation okay. nga separate ang dokumento mm -hmm. it's very important nga gi-accept ni pirma ang gidunitan ko kung wala na masangit ta sa RD okay. so karon with the train so what, law what happens if wala na acceptance unsa may i -requ require sa RD ana attorney ang aw aw usahay na mga inana so muingon lang mi nga ikatong gidunitan ipa-execute lang siya og deed of acceptance sa separate na nga document uh, pag matuod nga gidawat niya ang do donation in his or her favor mm. so kana lang unya the good thing with donation now is diba with the train law nga fix na sa siya at 6% like the yes, capital oh. gains tax kaysa una graduated man to mm. depende Karun sa fix na nga fix 6% is the same oh. yeah with the train law so Mogi hapon um, still the same they have to pay the taxes taxes and then, and then go to RD yes yeah, oh. so kuan kung, kung within 30 days gihapon na siya yes i think it's it's the same it's, it's the same, 30 no? days so ang importante lang is kana ma-present ni mo imong car sa RD and then the transfer tax we also require uh, certified copy of the tax okay. deck mm -hmm. since for example dili covered ang property og title tax deck lang so mm -hmm. tax deck ang imong dadon okay. pero kung naay titulo you bring the owners to placate with you okay so mm -hmm. mao na mga tele viewers tax declaration is okay you know yes pwede so, um going back no so we have na sale and we have donation so how about this time attorney hazel if for example, ang owner of a certain parcel of land, no, namatay, mm -mm. okay, leaving uh, heirs, heredero, no. Uh -oh. What will they do if they want to sell the property yes. of their father or mother who died, mm -hmm. no? So unsay process ana attorney Hazel. Okay. Uh, nindot sad na kan kay mm -hmm. nauban dugay nakaayo na matay and mm -hmm. they did not bother so, to, na nila, no? to settle. I think ato mga televiewers mura wala pa siguro sila oh. kahiba unsay buhat. Unya usahay usok kaayo nila bina sa ato ang mga kababayan bitaw sa kaning nasa lagyo na lugar. Mm -hmm. Kanang uh, mubaligya ra sila mo execute lang sila deed of sale without even uh, having a settlement over the estate mm -hmm. so pananglitan ni execute mo deed of sale kamo ang mga heredero mm -hmm. isubmit ninyo na ang, ang sa imong buyer ang imong deed of sale we will not accept that kung wala mo deed of extrajudicial settlement okay so what's so, the the name of the document is deed of extrajudicial settlement okay. ang requirement it's the same you have to pay estate tax transfer tax in favor of the heirs mm -hmm. and then the certified copy of the tax deck mm -hmm. so it's basically the same with the sale pero this time lang ang imong main document is your deed of extrajudicial settlement and another additional requirement for that particular transaction kinahanglan mapublish ni mo sa newspaper ah, ang fact of oh. settlement Mm. in a newspaper three consecutive weeks dapat ang newspaper na ay circulation na ay distribution mm. dito sa lugar kung asa located ang property ah, okay. kay usahay kan ang namatay for example daghang properties mm. na sa Cagayan de Oro o Samis na sa Cebu mm -hmm. usahay kay dito namatay sa Cagayan de Oro dito ra nila i-publish so we will not accept that publication. Ang kinangla na publication. It has to be where the property yes. is. Yes. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Or kung gusto ka nationwide na circulation mm -hmm. like your Philippine Star, for example. Basta mm -hmm. naagyo distribution kung asa ang property located. And then for that After purpose, that attorney, kinahanglan mahuman ng three weeks nga publication. Mm -hmm. Pa man, pahuman nun dyan pahuman na siya. three weeks. Uh, kung panalita na human na ang three weeks, mo issue man na ang newspaper o affidavit of publication proving that na comply na tong three weeks nga na publish ang settlement. Okay. Mm. So Very that's nice one. Oh, that's one. The purpose is, for example, na ay mga tao nga na claim over the estate sa katong namatay, mm. ma-inform sila. At kay, least, no? Okay, naman sila two so years. So is that the only requirement at earning a publication and deed of extrajudicial settlement and also the car the for car. the payment of the estate tax mm -hmm. and the transfer tax transfer tax mm -hmm. okay so I think common siguro ni attorney Hazel, no? Daghan siguro Daghan. mga instances sa Daghan ingani, kaayo, no? oo. And I think they just don't know how to go about yeah. it, no? O, o, on that note, Kan, kung for example, bitaw na wala gid mo na, wak mo na kahibaw mm -hmm. sa unin you, you can mm -hmm. always approach the RD and we will give you the list of requirements. Okay. So, imula nang ipakita, imong titulo or nakay tax declaration, we are happy, we will be happy to assist you on that matter. Kung, oh, there you go, telling oh, viewers, oh. ha? <laughs> 
<laughs> right from our deputy registrar of deeds, you can actually go to them and ask them no, if maglibog mo on sa on yeah, property. Mo. We will give you a list of the requirements for a particular transaction. So one of the common put ani, speaking about Eredero Attorney Hazel, what if um, ang uban igsuon wala diri? Wala diri sa Philippines. Oo, oh, oh, na they would na. want to sell it. Unsa may buhaton ana oh, nila? Kuan lang, kinahanglan lang sila mo execute og special power of attorney, okay, attorney giving of authority to a certain person to act on their behalf. For example, mm -hmm. ang usa ka igsuon may mo pirma pero kuna sa gawas, kinahanglan ang atong SPA kanang gitawag nila og authenticated kanang red ribbon. Mm -hmm. So muadto sila sa oh, consular, consular of, office oh, to have it kuan kani no, authenticated. So medyo hassle pero if dili authenticated ang imong SPA, we will not accept. Okay. Oo, so kuna ka igsuon nya imo settle na mo nya ibaligya mm -hmm. ninyo pwede ra siya mo execute og SPA okay. so there you go tell mm. viewers no so if ang uh, inyong mga igsuon wala diri you can always ask for a special power of attorney yes. so let's move forward this time around let's talk about um involuntary transactions attorney okay. <laughs> so kani <laughs> ta sa di siya oh. discussion og uh, interesting pud ni oh, oh. No? And, and i would say ang pinaka interesting gyud sa tanang mga involuntary Transaction for me is the adverse claim. Adverse claim. Oh. So, for the sake of our pinanga ng televiewers, what is an adverse claim? Oh, oh. di ba kaniyang oh. usay makakita kasi ibang matitulong matingala na lang ano na nako adverse claim and then ang uban iconsider na sila ng hugaw hugaw sa titulo. Mm -hmm. That is actually true to some extent. So unsa man ang adverse claim? Mm -hmm. Basically, mararakag ni ingon kung ikaw ang ni adverse claim, ingon na kanga ako na ako interest ani ng property. Na ako interest ani. Unya kanang for example, uh, gibaligya na sa ako. Uh -oh. Pero dili ihatag sa ako ang owner. Mm -hmm. So mag adverse claim ko. Pero na atay limitations na atay mga requirements ha para maka annotate og adverse claim. Okay. It's not as simple as nakapalit ka. Pero basically niingon ra ka nga na ako interest ani nga property. Okay. Let's let's hold that thought attorney Hazel, no? Of course, I uh, will continue after a very short break. So welcome back to Partners in Law uh, with me, Attorney Tevez, as your host, and of course, our very special guest, Attorney Hazel Espina. So earlier, we've been discussing, Attorney Hazel, uh, involuntary transactions and unsa ng adverse claim. Oh, oh. So, so again, adverse claim is? Katong man ang marag ni claim ka, nga naka interest over the property against mm. the registered owner. Mm -hmm. So what so, happens if na ay mo claim nga lain sa imong property? Oh, so kuan ni siya, dili pasabot nga kung nag-adverse claim ka, mm -hmm. ikaw na itag-iya. Mm -hmm. In fact, kan, even if ang titulo na ay naka-annotate na adverse claim, pwede na ni mo mabaligya. Mm -hmm. okay. It does not Stop the, Even though nakasulat sa loob. Yes, loob. bisang pag naka-annotate na, na ay nag-claim na in. Kaya, dili man good na siya conclusive. Mm -hmm. Claim lang na. Claim oh, lang. Kaya ang purpose sa law is, for example, na ang kay claim, ang sunod mag-unta sa adverse claim is mo-file na kag-case. Mm -hmm. So, ang adverse claim, marabag ang pinaka-immediate ba na remedy para mamprotektahan ang imong claim of interest. Mm -hmm. So, Ang buhaton ana kung even if na annotate imong adverse claim dili na siya makastop sa imuhang pagprenda for example mm -hmm. pag mortgage o pagbaligya so, so okay ra di hapon okay, okay ra do na ay adverse claim yes pero mm -hmm. ang kuan man good ang problem with and a title nga na ay annotation adverse claim kung imo nang i-mortgage sa bangko dili mo dawat ang bangko ah, okay na mara bag na anay hugaw imong titulo commonly mm -hmm. we call it na hugaw hugawan akong titulo kay na may ni claim lain mm -hmm. so even if it's not final pa mara bag na hugawan na gamay mm -hmm. Okay. So, ang uban, kung mupalit siya na na adverse claim, bound man siya itong adverse claim. For example, mo file to kaso sa korte niya, mo ng korte nga, o ang adverse claim man, kide ang tinuod ng tag-iya. No, oh, oh. So, ang katong nipalit, bound siya itong adverse claim. So, pwede kwaon sa iya balik ang property sa katong tinuod. So, muna tinuod. consequence. Muna no? consequence. So, if ako ang adverse claim man, how do I get uh, get uh, get it to be at annotated. Okay. So first, you have to establish kung unsa imo ang interest over the property. Mm -mm. And then, Asama na siya attorney Hazel sa like, in, sa RD na siya. Oh, sa RD how will, how will they establish? Kuan lang. Actually, ang imo lang yung i-submit ani sa RD is affidavit of adverse claim ragi. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Pero for example, kung ang imong basis sa imong claim sa property is tungod kinakapalit ka sa portion, mm -hmm. kinahanglan nimo i-attach ang imong deed of sale. Okay. And it's very important kay ang ang adverse claim sa 
dili manggud na siya remedy dayon kuna akay claim dapat maraglas na na siya ba so kung moingon ka nga nakapalit lang ka unya di kanang mura imong iingon dili sa na siya pwede kay i-avail sa nimo tong una unsa may una i-register imong sale mm, okay. so pero kung dili nimo may register kay dili ihatag sa tag iya ang owner's copy then it becomes a registrable adverse claim. Okay. So, kinanglan lang na akay link, na akay mm. na akay interest over the property, ma-establish na nimo sa imong affidavit with mm. the supporting documents, for mm. example, then we will register. Okay. But the advisable thing so, to do So, is it automatic that once they submit an affidavit of adverse claim, inyo da yun i-annotate at the back of the uh, it depends it's subject to our evaluation kung mm -hmm. mo-comply ba siya sa mga requirements sa adverse claim kaya naman tayong mga mga requisites ana before ma-register mm -hmm. dili lang man tungod kay ni claim ka and you can find this checklist sa office uh, actually you Matagra. can yeah we, we we can guide you when you go there and you show to us your affidavit we will tell you right outright kung registrable or not mm -hmm. so if you insist good nga i-register and then we will deny you mm -hmm. can actually marag mo appeal ka sa among denial you raise in konsulta mm -hmm. di nang ipa-decide sa among head sa central office and then you just have to pay 180 pesos ah, okay. so uh -oh. that's the way to do it yes no? so, if you want to know more about adverse claim we can actually you go to the office you present your affidavit and we will tell you outright if registrable or not so once again tell you viewers you can just go to their office and ask. No, oh, very welcome to ka ayo. IUC, Attorney Hazel. Pwede na good ka ayo, kinaantay daghang staff nga mo, accommodate ra. Thank you, Attorney. How about this one, a notice of dispendence? Okay. A while ago, naka-mention taani, mm. but for the sake of our televiewers nga, lawyers or non-lawyers, what is really a notice of dispendence? Oh, oh. Kuan na good na, ang pasabot lang ana, no, nag-ingun na na nga, na ay pending na kaso sa mm -hmm. korte, nga nag-involve sa property. Okay. Meaning, kani nga yuta, na din ni kaso. Mm. Unya, ang nindot aning magpa-annotate ka o notice of respondents. Mm. By the way, ang, ang, ang requirement lang sa RD para ma-annotate imong respondents is you just have to notify in writing. So, na kay suwat, na kani nga property, you indicate the title number, subject of a pending case in court, unsa nga kaso, asa nga branch, mm -hmm. okay, asa nga lugar, and then you attach your complaint na received by the court. Mm -hmm. okay. So, the, the, the good thing with this is, kung na ay kaso, dili gaya po na makastap pagbaligya. Pero, if ang katong nifile og kaso mo daog, mm. niya mo ingon ang korte nga, ang tag-iya di ay ang nifile, dili di ang katong naka-indicate sa title, mm. ang nipalit sa title, bound siya sa decision sa court. Mm. So, pwede bawiyon sa iya mm -mm. ang ang property. Okay. So, mara siya nahug og ginotify ni mong tibuo kalibutan nga kani nga property, subject ni of a pending case. Mm -hmm. Nga kung mupalit ka, imuha ng risgo. Mm -hmm. Kaya what if mapildi ang tag-iya sa kaso niya, ang katong di ang nifile, ang, ang tanood so ni tag-iya. So, it's a uh, buyer's own risk. Yes, no. buyer's Oh, buy, buy it at your own risk. Mm -hmm. Kung na ay naka-annotate na respondent. So that's, uh, muna ay beneficio po kung nakapa-annotate ka notice yes. of respondent. This is very useful ka. Sa kanibitong may file o kaso against the registered owner, oh. kay mm -hmm. i-claim ka nga ikaw, giday ang tag-iya, mm -hmm. you should file a notice of respondent para ma-bound. For ma -bound. Yes, point. para ma-bound sa dang mga tao nga mutransak with the property sa outcome sa kaso. Kaya kung mudaog ka, then you can take the property sa ilaha. Mm -hmm. So simply, Attorney Hazel, is you just have to attack touch po the complaint yes as received case. by the court as received oh, because by the that, court. that's our proof nga na agiday pending na kaso mm -mm. Mm -mm. okay thank you attorney hazel let's talk about this time around um services unsa may new services karon sa land registration authority oh okay no? na na ay daghang coming kan actually dugay na marag na conceptualize mm -hmm. pero ang ang naa karon sa RD level kato ato na mention last time na pwede na ta mukuha og certified copy sa title sa any nga lugar any located o oh, oh, located anywhere in the Philippines as long as kana nga RD na computerized na, na. computerized na siya no. okay. kato atong example nga na sa Quezon City ang property and then naka sa Cebu pwede ka mukhang certified copy sa Cebu kung sa may requirement ano attorney Hazel if you wala ra wala kato lang you have to fill up the form mm -hmm. sa amo a ah, then you indicate the title number and the registered owner's name how much does it cost para okay. magpakuan ka attorney Hazel yes usually 
for certified. certified. Okay. Oh. So, kung pananglitan kan, ang number of pages is naara sa duha. Mm -hmm. Ka pages lang ang title. Mm -hmm. Kay Limpio ka ayos siya. Wala pa siya laing mga annotation. Mm -hmm. So, duha lang ka pages. That would cost you around siguro mga 700 plus if ang property is na outside Cebu. Mm -hmm. Pero okay. if mukuha ka og certified copy sa Cebu City and the property is in Cebu City, that would cost you around mga 200 plus lang. Mm -hmm. So, ang difference actually mga naa sa pila ba na marag 300 plus kung yes. mag mag magkuha ng certified copy. Pa ka, diba? yeah. We call it A to A, anywhere to anywhere services. Wow. Oh, because A to A, A to A, we call it A to A, anywhere to anywhere. To anywhere. Oh. But for those only nga uh, uh, registry of deeds nga computerized system. Computerized. Dance okay, ma, di ha man ma-access like ang ubang mga RD wala pa man sila na computerized. But so they they are already starting. Yes, right? that's uh -oh. actually the goal of the LRA nga tanan nga play tanang RD sa sa Philippines pins ma mm -hmm. computerized na but only a few na lang po attorney few na lang siguro mga about 5% or oh. 3% na lang oh. itong mga remote na lang you started yun. 2017 right um, for this uh, system or no actually we start ang Cebu is actually we're happy to tell our televiewers na ang Cebu ang pinakauna nga RD na computerized sa Pilipinas oh. ang pinakauna nga titulo nga kaning we call it computerized title or the e title congratulations Issue sa Cebu. attorney Hazel. we made history Ika nga sa atong professor before sa land titles who was also the RD of Cebu City for yes, quite a long time. Uh We'd like to say hi yes, to, to our attorney, professor, Professor Attorney, attorney Marino. Marino. Hi, sir. Oh. I hope you are doing well. <laughs> so, Mootukan, and then we also have Karon because we want all the titles to be part of our database. So, kung nato gitawag og conversion from mm -hmm. manual to to kaning e title. Mm -hmm. Example, gi mortgage ni mo imong property, gigamit mm -hmm. ni mo imong title as a collateral. Mm -hmm. So, manual pa siya. Mm -hmm. Ladu ni mo sa RD, inigbalik na mo ana sa imuha mahimo na ng e-title. Hmm? Automatic conversion. Automatic siya? Yes. Nga, ilog po siya sa system, Attorney Hazel, that there was this conversion yes, done. Yes, it's, it's part of the records. It would form part of the records na i-convert siya from manual to e-title. Pero kung wala ka transaction, manual yung mong title, gusto hmm. lang ka nga mo upgrade to oh. e-title because we have advantages. Kaya hmm. ma-form siya sa system, part sa system. Pwede rasad na imong i-voluntaryo o pa-convert. We call it VTS. And there's, uh, is there a fee for that? Wala. Yeah, minimal lang. Mga around 500, if I'm not mistaken, basta below 1,000. Ah, okay. If you want to convert your manual title to e-title. Mm. Oh, so, nindot siya because... So, that's the uh, munang highlight karon sa services oh, sa LRA. Oh, mo na gid ang amo nang gina-implement. But mm -hmm. we have a lot of services um, on the kuan, uh, pending for implementation. Kaya ila pang improve ang process. Uh, daghan ka ayun, nindot. Okay. Oh, oh. So, muna igala, computerized na ta. So, it's hassle-free again, no? So, going back, kanina po ko'y problema, what if attorney Hazel nawala ang titulo? Oo, kana, komos kay na. I don't, I think, itong mga televiewers, I think, uban, kasulay na po, ano, no? The loss of title. So, what happens then? I mean, unsa may mabuhat, anak nila? Yeah, kanang usay, nabiyaan sa taxi. Yes, oo. Importante ka, ayo, kay di ba, as atong na-mention ganina, if voluntary and transaction like sale, we will not entertain your transaction kung wala imong owners. So, what you, what should you do when your owner's copy is kanang Nawa. Mm -mm. Uh, unfortunately, medyo lisod-lisod siya. Diligid ingon nga lisod, but you have to go to court and file a petition for issuance of new owner's copy. Okay. Dili kami ang mo issue bago lang. Dapat na ay order ang korte nga pa-issuehon mig bago. But it's in the system, right? It's in the system. Oh. So, ang basic lang ang requirement, first and foremost, before you file a petition in court for the issuance of new owner's copy, kinahanglan mo file kag affidavit of loss in the RD. Okay. So, you file an affidavit. Na imo sa RD. Yes. Kaya amok man nang i-annotate dito nga na imong title. Mm -mm. Because later on, when you file a petition in court, the court will require you to submit a certified copy of your title and the affidavit of loss must have already been annotated on the title okay. or else the court will not entertain your petition. So, usap mong ma-issue o bago nga title, there has to be court order. Court order. Okay. And before you file a petition in court, kinanglan mag-annotate na ka sa imong affidavit of loss. Mm -hmm. oh, so, oh. so any, any kind of loss, it depends lang 
basta na affidavit of law. Yes, uh-huh. and, and then in your affidavit, pwede ni mo isaysay dito nga no unsa mga circumstances sa pagkawa. Pwede mm-hmm. sad nga nawa imong title kay nasunog inyong balay. Mm-hmm. Oy, na na. So, uh, the court will have requirements later on pero as different matters sa RD level, kinanglan lang nato i-annotate ang affidavit of laws mm-hmm. and then once ma- ma-approve na ang court, you bring to us the order of the court and the certificate of finality. Okay. Oo. So, then we will you. issue uh, you a new one. Basta mm. na lang like, court order. Pwede yes. Oh, oh, importante ka. Okay, we will not entertain mortgage sale without your owner's duplicate. Daghan na ba ang kaso yung ani? Daghan ka ayo. Daghan yung guys tanan nga mawa. In, in a day, attorney, he's a kanus, uh, kapila man ka maka-encounter of loss of title. Siguro kuan. Ibutanta lang sa Osaka buwan. Oh. Maka, mga na siguro sa mga 5 to 10. Really? Yes, yes. Be, It's because also we have a very wide jurisdiction. Big mm-hmm. ang among jurisdiction. Pero daghan, oi, daghan chuk kay mga usa man kadugaya once uh, once they file an affidavit of loss to your office and then they go to court, right? I yes. mean, unsa man ka kadugaya or approximately lang na maka order ang court for the Reconstitution? Yeah. What do you call that? Yeah. Reconstitution of the... Oh, that's what they call reconstitution, mm-hmm. but the constitution actually is a different matter. Okay. okay. Ang nawaan, ang amuamang kapi. Ah, okay. Pero that's usahay, different. Pero usahay, sakto ka, sakto ka, kan. even even the kaning mga cases decided by the Supreme Court, usahay ma-interchange. Mm-hmm. They would use reconstitution for petition of issuance of new owners. Of new owners. So, mararang ma-interchange, pero basically it's the same. It's the same concept na mo-issue bago. Yeah. bago. Oo, oh, oh, so, ang ako mo ibawaan, ang kanina tayong mga class mates nga mo file og petition sa court mm-hmm. mga naa sa nay uban luckily makakuha sila in 8 months nay uban 1 year kapin mm-hmm. inana ka, ka medyo ang ang length of kuan time for mm-hmm. Four hours. They just really have to be patient. Patient. Lang, oo, oo. Ang lisod lang ano kung gadali ka kay baligya ni mo you need the money. So, yes, oo. Oo. pero ang uban mo, mo okay naman sila nga ang buyer na ang mo file og petition for so, loss. So it's okay, Attorney Hazel. Nga, even though the title was lost and they can still sell the property. Yes, yes. But once a man ilang i attach sa deed of sale ana. I mean, okay, dili sa ni mo marehistro imong date of sale sa amo. Okay. You have to wait for the order of the court and then you have to wait for the RD to issue a new owner's copy before you can register the sale. But it's possible na si buyer na mag- amo file a petition. petition. Yes, pwede That's kayo. Okay. Yeah. And uh-huh. then the buyer will just have to prove na unsa man i na na i sale na i sale. Yeah, lang i-attach to iyang date of sale. Ah, Oo. Okay. So okay. now I know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> pwede ra, pwede ra gid kaayo. Iya ha punang risgo pero mm-hmm. if nag-secure kag certified copy sa RD, di and then wala di ICI kaning issue mm-hmm. pwede ra gihapon importante lang no to remind our televiewers kung nagplano mo palit mm-hmm. mo dawat sa titulo as a security of the loan mangayo gid mo og certified copy sa RD do not rely on the owner's duplicate okay. alone so unsa man jud uh, as our, as in general no because we are uh, about to end the program attorney hazel so what are the what what is the advice that you could give to our televiewers sa mga atong televiewers na mapatitulo or any transactions that they will encounter with regards to registry of yeah. deeds uh, mona um, we have been encountering a lot of issues involving land di ba mm-hmm. kay mo good ni nga dili mo dako dili mo tubo so nagkadugay ang panahon nagkadaghan ang tao nagkamahal ang yuta mm-hmm. so before you will buy a property you have to really exercise due diligence unsa so, ni mo ato ka sa RD mag inquire ka kung limpyo ba ang titulo wala bay laing claimant mo ato ka mm-hmm. sa assessor kung limpyo ba ang tax debt And then you also make sure nga walay occupant. Maanto ka sa lugar, ma-ocular inspection ka. Inana ba? Mm-hmm. So ang, ang ang basic good is you secure a certified copy. Okay. To ensure kung unsa gyud mga issues involving the property or whether it's clean or not. Okay. Mm-mm. And so get to buyer's own risk pud no. Oo, oo oh. di ba? Kanang gitawag nila og kanang sa atong land titles nga kaning caveat <laughs> emptor. Caveat emptor. <laughs> oh, buyer beware. Yes. So dili lang ta magpatakag They should palit. You have to exercise due diligence. And of course, when you transact with registry of deeds, number one, just you have to be patient. Joe. Yes, kana lang gid ang among gihang yo sa atong mga kababayan katauhan sa atong mga televiewers nga sometimes kami we are really constrained by personnel, number of personnel kay underman kayo may in fact, Mm-mm. kami tanang RD sa Cebu Mm-mm. is handling more than one RD. 
Oh, really? Yeah, kay wala gimi and our personnel is actually multitasking na kan, mm-hmm. na ay mag-encode, na ay mag-upload because we we lack personnel and mm-hmm. the volume of transactions is really increasing every day. Every day. Tungod sa indot man ang ato ang ekonomiya sa Cebu. Mm-hmm. That's a good actually indication that we are having a healthy economy. But at least um it really helps a lot na computerized sa takaron. Oo, oh, oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh, oh. Sahay, yeah. please bear with us kung na tay mga technical glitch system that's mm-hmm. part of being computerized but can uh, rest assured that for Cebu City and Cebu province we will really accommodate and you just tell us kung unsa how we can help you usahay okay. mga so issues. mauna ang mga higala mm. so attorney Hayes is asking for your patience once you transact with the registry of deeds so so i'm very very happy daghan kay kog na learn karon <laughs> and <laughs> I'm pretty sure ang atong mga televiewers daghan pud sila nagkatunan. Oo. Actually no? ganahan lang kan pa kay unta tag nindot nga i-discuss no? yes. okay. Kani mang good nga topic kan daghan ka ayo pwede nga mga mm. mahimong issues but we are we have time mm. constraint. But then again if na sila mga pangutan na attorney they can always go to your yes, office right. Yes, pwede ra pwede ra gyud. Uh, we have an information desk. Yes, we yes. have what we call a uh, registration information officer. We call them Rio. Rio. Oo, so sila na ang mo entertain ninyo. Oh, oh, okay. oh, front line. So, once again, I'd like to thank uh, Attorney Hazel Espina for being with us today. And I hope the televiewers have learned something. I have learned something. A lot, actually. And I hope we could meet again and get more information from Attorney Hazel. So, <laughs> again, this is Attorney Tevez, your host for today. And thank you for watching Partners in Law. <laughs>